Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with... T. Uh, in T. Dynamite <laughs> Explosive with Jonas. You're the man on the sticks. I am. Uh, playing Madden 20. I stretched it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man. I don't know what you're stretching it out for. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I I didn't like, I'm not sure what to say now. I didn't realize worlds could be that pliable. <laughs> right? Mm. Dude. Malleable. You know, you know what? Uh, I, you know what I was thinking about this morning. What is that? How funny the Chappelle show was. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is old, and if you've never watched it, go back and watch Chappelle show. It is super. Are funny. you Chappelle show or Key and Peele, Jonas? Which one do you think is better? Oh, Chappelle show, a thousand percent. Did you watch Key and Peele though? I did watch some of it. Yeah, I, and Key and Peele was really good too. Some of it was good. Some of it was. I mean, I I didn't watch nearly as much Key and Peele as I watched as, of a Chappelle show. Yeah. Because you own the Chappelle show on, like, DVD. And I did, yeah. yeah. And, and you know what's funny is, like, about maybe, I don't know, five <laughs> years ago, maybe not quite that long ago, I went back and watched, like, the whole first season. It's mm. still funny today. It's Maybe it's a little more crass than you can get away with on TV now because yeah. he was a little edgy back then. And yeah. he would say, like, something. But it's still, like, it's held up over time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But started chuckling, like, because about the, uh, the R. Kelly P on you video. The oh, my music, God. music parody he did. Oh man! So, so my thought was <laughs> that like, was big in the schoolyard. Let me tell you. Oh what. my god! So, my thought was like, obviously now it's come out like allegedly that R. Kelly is like way worse than anyone even thought he All was. Right. Back in the where, where are we going with this? No, I no, like no. It. I'm just, I, it's, no, I'm going with some, this. Is not about what R. Kelly's about. Okay. <laughs> so, we can but talk even about back Robert. then, you know, there was the, the rumor by, by him peeing on that girl. So, like, if you like, so like, say. So say there was a rumor about you, TNT, right? That, that like, may or may not be true, but it's not quite the most wholesome rumor. And then someone, like, has a TV show, and they make a parody song with a video about you. How do you think R. Kelly felt about that back in, like, 2000? <laughs> I hope he felt guilty because he <laughs> urinated on an underage girl. Allegedly. Oh, to get out. There was a video of Alleged. it. But yeah. That's, he could have had a water bottle. Well, ask the other 15 tapes and what they <laughs> think. We didn't know there was 15 tapes then. <laughs> All right, look, it depends on what the rumor is. Now, this is one of those times where I'm going to I'm going to Oh, you're going to put the scenarios I'm going to do one of the things that you do because it, it, it's too vague at this right. point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a little vague. Well, yeah, if it's a rumor that you like stole a piece of candy from the convenience store, that's one thing. But you do make a good point when you talk about, like, what if somebody on television started making parodies? And I was just thinking, like, uh, a lot of people in the government, a lot of those officials, they get stuff made parodies of them on Saturday Night Live, on yeah. The Late Show, Tonight Show, uh, oh, yeah, Conan O'Brien. Because yeah. they're in the public eye. Yeah. Yeah. So it's how would I move feel? move now to think about it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Guys. It's kind of what? Kind of a D move. Like, uh, yeah. Like, like it's like it's they're still like a real it's not like they're a character they're like a real human being you're not even wrong just being themselves and they like make fun of anyways, you're not right? you're not even wrong Keep I, on your, your i'm not i'm not one to advocate for that type of behavior oh no i don't i yeah i do watch it and i find it funny but i'm <laughs> just saying is that it is kind of a d move um i don't know honestly i think i'd be flattered really that yeah they, that they cared enough to like make a, a, a parody of you yeah i mean Obviously, I'm not going to F with whoever is making fun of me, but I'd be flattered. I'd be like, yeah, whatever, fam. Yeah. Of course, you're talking about me because it's always about me. Keep, right. keep making parodies about how I have a woman's handbag. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure thing. Yeah, right. Show TNT Dynamite shopping in the Versace store with RuPaul. Fine, whatever. Yeah, right. I got you. Yeah, and at that point, I mean, because obviously, if someone's making a parody about you, you ain't a nobody. Like they're That's not just gonna, someone's not just gonna see you walking down the street with a handbag and be like, I'm gonna make fun of that guy. Everyone's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I hope that my money is enough where you know it can. I can wipe my tears with my money. You <laughs> You're know, like, what I'm oh, saying? you know how sad I feel about that video. Take this, honey. Oh, <laughs> uh, and then you set it on fire. You're like, That's how bad I feel about it. I think that's what it would take to get me on Twitter hardcore. What if you were famous? Yeah, if I were if I were famous. Which you guys at home, you need to work on yeah. by oh, dude. like yeah. hitting the like button and yeah. stuff like that. I agree. Because I think if like if you were famous and you had millions or hundreds of thousands of people like coming at you on a social exactly. media platform. And the, the best part about it mm -hmm. is you can choose at any time to delete your account. And then if you came mm -hmm. back, they would all come right back. Nah. 
Yeah, I guess to a certain. Like, degree, I mean, know. I can see how people who aren't strong-minded <laughs> get overtaken. Play game. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at you talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we gotta keep it going. But, but I can see how people who who like don't have like good self-confidence can get really rattled because yeah. people are ignorant on the internet. I mean, and when you have a hundred, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people telling you that you ain't ish, then yeah, it's gonna get to you. Uh, it reminds me of like just a recent thing about uh, the things that. What Gail Kim said about Kobe Bryant uh, when she was doing an interview. I don't know. Have you heard about Is that? that at all? One, did I see something like she said he deserved it or something? Is that no, happened? that was somebody else. That was somebody else. Oh, okay. Uh, she was doing an interview with Lisa Leslie, and they brought up like the uh, the rape charges or whatever that oh, he had oh, yeah. that were dismissed. Yeah, and they were like, "Is that a part of his legacy?" And then she was like, "Look, as long as he was the crime didn't go to trial, she decided to pull out." It was like we need to just let it live. People went crazy. Snoop Dogg was like, he went kind of nuts because he was friends. He was really close friends with Kobe, and he was like, "Why are we bringing up this case?" And he was like, "She's a doghead b-word, and you better shut your mouth before we come and get you." Gail Kim has been getting death threats. That's when it gets to a point of, like, that same attention that you could covet yeah. from wanting to be famous or from having famous thrust upon you. Yeah. Uh, it can get a little extreme because it's like everything you say. Oh, they, yeah. They look at <laughs> Analyze? <laughs> Not analyze. That's a little different. Uh, like, they were looking at Jay-Z like he was crazy because he was sitting there in the national anthem. Motherfucker, I sit through that. Okay, look. <laughs> well, no, but like, yeah, and he had to make a statement. Like, to, yeah, to that point. Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, like. We can say whatever we want to right here. Right. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he had to be like, I was, I was producing a show. I was watching to make sure everything was running. That the mic, I wasn't even paying attention to what was going on. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what was happening other than my show has to run good. <laughs> Jonas, it is amazing the stuff that we can get away with saying because we are so small. Imagine if every comment that we made was scrutinized and somebody well, had and a I'm problem. Sure, like, with the it. Breakfast Club people, they got to worry about it a lot more. You know what I mean? They can't say anything super ignorant because uh, if they do, I mean, yeah, there's a there's a lot of people who get it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but, it, it's true. Yeah, we're, we're when you have seven people listening, it doesn't matter as much as if you have seven million people. Yes, listening. yes. I mean. I care about the seven people listening. I guess, I guess we don't matter is the point, not that the people listening don't Like, matter. I feel right now, Jonas, that we could just, like, start using racial slurs in the middle of our... <laughs> and what are we going <laughs> to... Nobody's going to care. I mean, I get your point, but no. <laughs> I'm just saying, but nobody would care, right? I mean... Would it, would it really hurt anything? I mean, if one of the seven people listening... What? Was what, what, are, what are they going to do? No, would it hurt? It could hurt them. Would it hurt, like, our channel in the long I mean, well, here's the thing, other. I mean, yeah, I get, what you, I get your point. <laughs> but, like, here's the other thing. Like, so, say now, say, like, we, uh, say all of a sudden we blew up, right? Yeah. And then they dig back in the. <laughs> right, they dig back. Like, <laughs> they dig back in our permanent record. Dude, they go back to, like, when we used to say F-bombs and, like, you talked about some disgusting things. Yeah, we still kind of do that. Yeah, yeah. Bro. But, no, dude, yeah, they just go back. We have 1,500 videos they can go back and pick apart. Yeah, but disgusting is okay. I even feel like the swearing is perfectly I feel, fine. I can confidently say I don't – well, <laughs> first, I can confidently say I don't remember half the issue we talk about. Probably no. three-quarters, no. four quarters. Four fifths of it. No, I don't remember. This is all freelance, man. It's but, just off the top of the head. But Freestyle. I can say with a fact, there's probably nothing that I regret. Like I would be like, a like I would be like, oh yeah. my god, I hope no one goes back and listens. To it's not like I'm saying racist things or things that are like ugly <laughs> or like I may say some disgusting ish or talk about some dumb stuff but it's all made in jest it's all jokes i feel like a, a lot of regret has to do with like uh the, the point of view intent uh, intent is important but point of view is important too because while you might not think that anything you say is w worth apologizing for there might be people out there who are up in arms about some of the stuff you might well, say yeah it's true but there's a whole there's an insignificant amount PewDiePie said the N-word one time on stream, and he lost millions yeah, but, of dollars. Yeah, but that's, I've never said that. 
If I said that, I would hope that people would want to unfollow me. That's that, ignorant. That is where I think like that the fame can be an issue. Like you can't just say what you want to say anymore. Well, yeah, but like, but there's a difference between if he was like, "I hate Coke," and saying the N word. They're two totally <laughs> different things, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I like I just said we could just say the N word. I'm I, gonna say it right now. <laughs> don't, don't. We can't. have a good, we have a good streak God going. Damn it, don't so black. I can say it if I want. You absolutely can. But dude, we have a streak of like fifteen hundred videos. I'm aware. Yeah. But I just I'm just saying it's like no, that is ve- it's it's just very telling. It's very telling. Oh, for sure, man. But like, and here's the thing too. It's like um, it like some of these people. They say some real ignorant stuff back in the day. People go yeah. back and look, and then they act surprised that people are offended. Just don't say ignorant stuff, and no one's going to come back at you and bring up what you said that was ignorant. Like, I know for a fact that I've never said a racist slur on this show that no, anyone there, could go no, back and look at. There was that one time. I said something about apartheid, but it, it was not a it was not a racist slur. I misspoke. I knew no, that. there was that, that, that one time, remember? No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You, did, you look. Wait. What did I kid, say? Kids I, at home, go look for it. <laughs> it's in the archives. <laughs> oh. Got to check out the backlog oh, to find it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, you remember it. You got to find it. It though. was very, very risque, but you know. You got to go back and find it. Start with episode one of the podcast. Yep. And then go <laughs> work your way up. All the way back. Work your way all the way. Yeah, through. that was like that one time you confessed. Oh, Jonas, come on. I could go to jail forever. It's in, it's in there. If that gets out. Yeah, they got to find it. No, Jonas, no. Way back when. Don't tell the police about that thing <laughs> I said in one episode of all of the content we've done. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, dude. Um, yeah. There was, I'm, like, I'm, there was something that you said that sparked something I was going to say before we got into that. Uh, hold on. Give me one you said that you were sure you haven't said anything racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but there was a thing I was going to... Um, it wasn't anything super important, but it, it spawned a fire. I forgot it. It's fine. It may yeah. pop up. So, uh, I don't know. At the end of the last episode, you were talking about uh, like how people want to be famous, but they don't necessarily uh, They complain when they get, get. To, get to that point. Yes. We would lose the ability to flow like we do normally, to some extent, without having to do damage control after every episode that is aired to a certain extent. And that's once we get to a point where that many people care and they have expectations of us. Right. Of it all it all just depends yeah, it just depends how much people care about you. Or the audience we're trying to pander to. At this point we can just say whatever we want. I, I kinda would like why I want more people to uh consume our content, I don't necessarily want it to get to the point where I have to feel like I can't just freestyle like we do now. And that's the and that's the fine line that you walk because I mean mm-hmm. like Everybody wants their stuff to be heard or seen or watched or whatever, but if but then if so many people watch it, then you're like, man, too many people watch my stuff now. It's yeah. Like I feel you can't have both. Well, I, to a certain extent, I definitely agree. I kind of feel like what we do is, while it's not unique, it is like it's different than the average because I don't really watch a lot of YouTube channels that just like. Hey, we got a topic. We can go on it. We just talk. And we get into some weird issues. We, we just, want we to. just tangent anywhere it yeah. takes us. Yeah, it's like we combo <laughs> podcasting and YouTube videos. Which, yeah, which I, I definitely like. I yeah. Like oh that. yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. It just gives a visual element. Like people who don't even care about football could watch this because we're not talking about the game. We used to talk about the game. <laughs> Anymore, we don't. We I just play, <laughs> kind of play. Is this what you want? Right, and I'll and I'll uh, and I'll like make some comments or something happens or whatever. Yeah. But that I mean I've had we had somebody comment on one of the videos way back when that was like I've never found a Madden channel like this because we just talk about the most Thank random you. stuff. Keep it's it up. It's not about. Imagine if football announcers didn't talk about the game and it was just two guys talking for three hours over right. the game about whatever. Like the Breakfast Club came and commentated a football game. And didn't talk about football. They just basically did a radio show over watching, like, the Niners and the Chiefs play the Super Bowl. <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> you would watch that. Because I could watch. It's like getting two things at once. I still get to watch football, which mm-hmm. I enjoy. Yeah. And I get, like, entertaining commentary about life. Yeah. But, but I, 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 definitely, I, I definitely like the uh, 
archetype that we have going right now. Oh, yeah. I, li- I like it. Oh, I don't know too. how you guys feel about it, but I like it. Oh, me too. Um, if you like sucks. it, hit the like button. Yeah, right? Thumbs up. But uh, we can't. Uh, it's like when we're playing other. Like Madden's the only game we can really do that with. Because a lot of the other games, there's like we we talk about like relevant conversation in the game things about yeah, the game yeah. that are going on. I mean, we could always just like pre-record some game footage and then just just make pod. See, and that's what I thought about too, dude. Because we were talking about um, doing like like two two short podcasts a week instead of doing like one long podcast. No. But yeah, if we just had video, if we just had game footage, we could play the game footage and just do a podcast over top of it, and. Yeah, just what like you could record yourself playing Overwatch for the whole chunk of time you're doing it, and then we could just chunk it into chunks and just talk over. And don't put it, it's Overwatch. Just put it to podcast if people watch it. Like, oh, there's Overwatch in the background going on. Yeah, you yeah. know, or whatever game. If we ever play any games that aren't for the channel, just hook it up and record with no audio. And then we we'll just talk over it. And then you can just talk over it. It'd be something to put in background. I'm not averse to it. Yeah. Because you could put a chunk of video in the editor, put the audio in, and then clip the video. Like, it, you don't have to have a full match or whatever. Yeah, I'm not supposed to do it either. <clears throat> All right, so that's that's your behind-the-scenes look. Uh, we want to be famous, but not so famous where you guys think we're jerks for everything we say. Yeah, well, I mean, we are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I, I, I don't know where that sweet spot is. Is that like the... Two hundred and fifty thousand sub is where you're making enough money to live, but you're not crazy rich. Because if because it uh what it what what does it do? Because then <laughs> you have you have enough views and, and watches and stuff so you can like make money and do what you love for a living, but you haven't caught on enough that people care enough yet. Wait, what? Somebody's got to care. Every single... I hope that every single one of the people in our 500, almost 500, right? Getting there. Getting there. Almost 500 subs. I hope that every single one of them cares, and each and every single one of them is important, and what they think is important to me. Just not enough for me to actually do anything they say. But I listen. Yeah, man, we have some comments. People like to comment sometimes. Ooh. I miss Cooper. Oh, you know what I was thinking? That you, you miss Cooper Swagger what? too? No, no. <laughs> I do miss Cooper. But you know what <laughs> I was awesome thinking? you listen to this. Anyways. You know what I was thinking? What's that? We should do a comment response episode where we go through and we t- look at all the comments that we've gotten and we just do an episode where we comment on each comment. It... Where we just talk about them? Like, we just talk about the comments. Like, we'll have a person that says, uh, the Booker, Booker Playfield is a piece of crap. And then you, we just say, you know what, uh, Snot House 92? I agree. Booker Playfield needs to get off his ass. And then we move on to the next comment. Yeah, that's it. Like, and then they'll be like, the comment that just says, Crazy Town. And we'll, we'll be like, yeah, because you could bring up your laptop and literally go to the comments tab and just sort from like the <laughs> beginning like and just go through. I mean, we have we have a lot of uh, comments. I would say that we wouldn't necessarily have to do every single comment starting from like day one. Yeah, but, like, but we could do relevant. it weekly. Yeah, we could just do, yeah, or just, just go through and start talking about some of them. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, if you guys want us to say your your youtube player tag and read your comment on the channel i think that might be a good idea we're looking into it all right it's not a hundred percent if you like if you like the idea like the video <laughs> the seven people who watch this <laughs> look at seven people be like i want my comment to video too. It would, but it'd be from all the videos on the channel yeah i feel you yeah so uh, you know some 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 of the browns you know any what, of the like always dead by dead feel good uh touching yourself in your bedroom at night <sighs> In the living room. <laughs> uh, oh, not where I'm sitting, I hope. Right in your spot. Uh, That's what this puddle yeah. is. Um, it, it always makes me feel good when... Oh, did they really... Oh, we stopped them at the end of the game. They were driving to tie it. Nice. Uh, I'll just say this real quick before the end of the episode. Uh-huh. Like, when... Like, I, we just had somebody not that long ago comment on a Red Dead Redemption... T- Two videos, oh, when they- and I'm like, dude, this game's been out for a year, and you go back and find our old content, and you're watching through it, and you're like, oh, this is awesome. This is what I want to see because you guys are just bsing over a video, digging in the crates. I'm man. like, that's cool. People go through the old stuff and find that's something. what that's what it's there for. Or man. every so often, I'll look at like our uh, analytics, and it'll be like 
Tomb Raider has like 40 minutes of view time on the playlist, and I'm like, someone went back and watched like 40 minutes of our, or they'll watch a, uh, uh, Celeste. Celeste, yeah, or something like that. How do you know I was talking about Celeste? Anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it. Go watch our playlist. Make me happy by commenting on our old videos. <laughs> for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh.